Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, beautiful day? I'm recording this on Saturday, but it's actually for Sunday. So happy Sunday. Um, happy Saturday. <laughs> we are finally feeling fall here. The weather is chilly. God, I love it. It's chilly and we have breeze and it's really kind of, you need a jacket on to go out. Um, so I, I'm not sure of the temperature, but I know yesterday it was really windy and today it's breezy, a little breeze here and there. But hey, I enjoy it. I love it. In fact, I have my tea here. I got my green tea with lemon. And so I'm ready, guys. I'm ready for fall. As you guys know, <clears throat> excuse me, fall is my favorite time of the year. It's the best time of the year there could be. And I just love it. So how are you guys doing? How have you been? How has your week been? Have you been busy? Have you relaxed? What have you been doing? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. I really, really do. <clears throat> and for some reason, excuse me, let me take a sip of tea. I'm having a frog in my throat. Even though I'm recording this on Saturday because my girls are coming over and we're spending um, Saturday doing hair. <laughs> but tomorrow is Sunday and that's when this video is going up. So that's why I'm saying happy Sunday to everyone. I hope you are off to your place of worship. I hope you are ready to be renewed, refueled, and restored. Um, so what do I have? I got to do my page. Let me do my scripture. Let me get to my scripture and then I'm going to, um, you know, I never finish my pages. I start them off, but I always put a picture at the end so you guys can see the completed page. Um, <clears throat> uh, so let me get to my scripture which is coming from the book of Isaiah, and it's Isaiah 41 and 10. And I thought this was a good scripture for Sunday, uh, because when we go into fellowship, into our place of worship, whether you're at home spending time with the Lord, or you're going into the house of the Lord, um, to fellowship with other Christian friends and family. Um, we come in looking to be renewed, looking to be restored, um, looking to get that strength that we need uh, to face the week that is coming up. So Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. What a beautiful scripture. God had to constantly remind Israel that he wasn't going to leave them. He was their protector. He was their <laughs> defender. Um, he was there to fight for them and to make things okay for them. And you know what? When we go into service on today, on Sunday, um, remember to just let it all go. Give it to the Lord. Lay it at his feet. Let him be the one to fix it, to work it out. And we go in as an empty vessel, waiting for him uh, to re renew us, refuel us, restore us, restore our joy, uh, renew our strength, and refuel what we need to go on 
for the week ahead. So I just thank God for being able to be able to go to him um, and just not just on Sundays. Let me just make that perfectly clear. Not just on Sundays, because there are some times that we need to go to him in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night. There are things that come up. There's things that transpire and we need to talk to him about it. And what's so good about it is that he's always there. He's, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. And he's there for you. He hears you and he understands. And oh my God, how wonderful that is. So I like that verse in Isaiah. I will strengthen thee. I will uphold thee. He's there for us. When we cry out to him, his ear is attentive to bow and listen. My child is calling me. Let me see what's going on. So, <clears throat> and I picked out this um, out of this book here. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When we get peace in God, we have joy in God. We have happiness in God. We have everything we need in the Lord. And how wonderful is that? Okay. I'm loving my green tea. So today, I'm using well-weathered books. <laughs> I have used these. The pages are coming out. I have to hold them together. But Live Love Posh, Functionally Chic Red Blooms. I just feel like red for Sunday. Um, Kill of a Plan, Faith Basics. And Amber Plants Her Day Bible Journaling Essentials, Volume 2. I just love her Bible journaling sticker books. They have scriptures. They have uh, just everything in it that you can need. So I'm working in these books, these three books today. And, of course, I will link their um, site below in case you want to go there and and order you some books. But first, let me put, I'm going to use boxes, guys, but I want to do, trying to see if I want to put my flowers down or if I want to put my boxes down. Um, I'm torn between these, which looks more like Christmas, let me see, and these. And as I say, my book is very weathered or tattered and uh, used the pages have come out. I've used them a lot, <laughs> a lot. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Hey, if this is your first time stopping by, I hope you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of the CFF family. I would love to have you on board. Um, yes, 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 I would. It is a pleasure to have you here. And if you're brand new, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I am, you know, I don't know. I want this on here. Let me see how this is going to look. So I'm use, I use the wax paper because then I can lay it out and see how it's going to look. Because I want it. I probably didn't put it straight. Maybe I'll put it here. I think I'm going to put it here. Right there. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Um, I am so appreciative today and thanking God for all that he's doing in my life. Um, he is just awesome. I don't believe I'm going to 
cut these I'm going to put them I don't think I want to cut them okay I'm going to put my wax paper up I'm not really good with the wax paper I don't know how many of you use wax paper to lay out your thing um, because some of my printables I print on well most of my printables I print on Avery clear labels and I think I showed that to you guys before and once that sticks <laughs> you're just gonna rip the page trying to unstick it so <laughs> so um, I I don't know if I like that but let's just leave it there I might end up cutting it you guys know I'm not going to finish this on camera but I am definitely going to um, put a completed picture at the end of the video um, what else is going on with me um uh, as you know, I'm I'm officially shopping for a car. I was trying to put it off, but my car is just, I guess it just says, look, I'm not going any further. So you might as well get used to that, that idea and quit trying to make me go. So um, let's see. I'm going to put this up here now don't be surprised guys if you guys see this later and it's reconfigured I'm just saying I'm just saying um, although I read Isaiah 40 and 10 I like to write my scriptures down that I've done that I've read on camera. I like to put them in my book, but it might be that I just put uh, um, that I just write down the verse and not the whole write out the complete verse. I'll just put down where I where I found it at. Um, but oh, come on, come on, please, come on. Yeah, I'm officially looking for a new car. I'm, I'm not trying to buy anything brand new, but I am looking for my car officially. I was trying to hold off until January, but you know what? Sometimes cars have a mind of their own, and it's like they know you've saved up money. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's like they know you saved money, so they start to just break apart. And I just finally, um, I told the guy um, that works on, on all my cars, I go to him for everything. Um, he's our um, assistant pastor at the church, and he does all <laughs> work on the car, unless it's something really huge and he can't do it then I'll go to the shop but I just told him no more I'm not putting any more money into this car um, it's time for me to get out and find another car and so that that is what I'm doing um, brand new no I don't want anything brand new um, I want something that is at least five years old so um, yeah, I, I, I'm not into the brand new, brand new stuff. So, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I'm officially looking for that. I'm looking for another car. Um, also, I am actually... I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about it, but as you know, I'm a renter, so um, we rent, and I'm 
tossed between renting and buying. And they all have their pros and their negative attachments to it. So I'm not sure what I want to do, but those are some of the big things that um, um, I'm doing. And so I'm just, that's why I worked so hard at um, becoming uh, debt free because I didn't want to have anything else going on other than that um, car payment and rent or mortgage. And that's how I felt about it. So um, we shall see. We shall see. What do you guys think? How do you feel about renting versus buying? Do For all of you that own your homes, um, do you feel that that's better than renting? Of course, when you rent, uh, when you own, I should say, you don't have to worry about um, landlords and different things like that. So, um, I'd just be interested in knowing, how do you guys feel about that? Do you prefer owning? Do you prefer renting? I'm sure we can all say, well, you know, I don't. Um, I got the wrong one, guys. I got the wrong one. Okay. I'm sure we all can say, oh, I don't, I really don't like um, renting because you have to deal with the landlords, you can't really pay. And then I've seen some people on YouTube, they do paint. They paint, they change stuff, they build stuff in. Um, they just said that they make sure that it's not permanent. And when they move, um, they're able to take it down. But they do go in and make their rental um, feel like home to them. And so... Not that I don't make things feel like home, but whereas I would like to paint something, I'm not going to do that because, well, I rent. So I'm not going to do it. But anyway, that's what's going on with me. Um, getting ready to make that car purchase and like I said, my car just automatically knew I had money saved, so it's like a tag. <laughs> oh my goodness, it, it just went crazy. It's like a tag. You take everything she has. So um, I'm getting ready. It seems strange to be talking about 2025, but yeah, I'm talking about 2025 and getting my um my planners ready um no i haven't received my uh, prayerful planners i'm waiting patiently on those hopefully the they will be here soon so i'm waiting on those i am definitely definitely um getting my new uh colibri uh, if you guys haven't seen this, I want to show it to you. Um, let me take all my junk. That's the way I do my budget and everything. <laughs> but um, this is Calibri. And I love it because they personalize it for you. They put your name on it. And then um, because I chose the daily one, it um it only goes for six months so i'm getting ready to order january to june but you can put all your bills in there um and it has um your goals uh your schedules um your overview of your whole week um and then it goes to the day thing. You can even plan out your meals. Um, I love it. I, I just love this. This is my first time using this. 
And I have to admit, I really find it so helpful. I love the schedule. Now, they do have this in the, um, what do they call it, the vertical, where you just have each week lined out on a page. And that, I believe, you can get the whole 12 months. But because these are um, daily, um, you can only get them in six months. So I am ready to order my um, six months. It has a notepad there for you. Um, so you can write your notes. In the back, it has um, the pockets where you can put your things. Um, I love it. Notes in the back where you can write them back. Um, it's, it's just a really cool uh, budget thing. And I've been going through budget binders, believe me, for a minute. And this has answered everything I wanted it to answer. So I love the Calibri. And I will link the... No, this is not a... Um, what do they call it? A partnership or I just mentioned it because I love the the planner. It's a great planner. And um, <clears throat> so, no, it's not sponsored. That's what I was trying to say. This is not a sponsored video. I just really like the Calibri um, planner for planning out your day, your week. Everything is right there. And I don't have to deal with two, three, four planners. Um, of course, my prayerful planner will always be right here with me for my daily stuff. I do have the prayerful planner notebooks. I have their journals. And so I love this. Uh, but the Calibri was just really good for my budgeting journey. And after going through so many different uh, budget binders, the Calibri was the best one for me. So, as I said, I wasn't going to finish this on camera, so I am going to go ahead, finish this up, and I'm going to post it. I just wanted to come in and chit-chat, ramble on. You guys are so sweet. You indulge me and you listen <laughs> and you stop by and visit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And I send my appreciations, loves, and hugs to my new subscribers, to my old subscribers. And hey, visiting. If you're just visiting, hit the subscribe button. Come on. Become a part of the CFF family, Christian Friends and Family. We're all about planners. We're all about scriptures. I love to share the word of God and just give my little two cents on it. No, I'm not a Bible scholar. I haven't been to Bible college, but I do love the Word of God. So I hope you guys will consider subscribing and becoming a part of the family. And yes, uh, on occasion, I do some cash stuffing. So to all my cash stuffing uh, subscribers out there, I love you guys. And I just appreciate you so much for just stopping by, even though I know you're not into the planet, but you stop by and you visit. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. I am going to get ready to enjoy some football, college football. Like I said, this is Saturday, but I'm posting on Sunday uh, and enjoy my girls that are coming over. And we're going to watch some football and just have a good time. I hope you guys have a beautifully blessed Sunday. Remember, focus on three good things. They're there, little nuggets that God just drops in our path. Something that puts a smile on your face. Something that warms your heart. And something that brings joy to your soul. Focus on that. Kick out the negative. We don't need it. We don't want it. Let's focus on the all the good things that are going on. And until next time, you guys be blessed. Bye.